So there's been some questions about how do I add a contextual map and what do I mean by a contextual map in the maps in, in the homework assignment. And what I mean is that in this map that you see on the screen right now, it's, it's of Georgetown, Texas. And while we know where Georgetown, Texas is, uh, maybe someone who's looking at the map for the first time might not know exactly where you're talking about. So the idea is that you would put a little square map in the corner that would show where Georgetown, Texas is located relative to uh, to, to like the state of Texas, something that someone is familiar with. The way we're going to do this is that you just need to make a second data frame. So if you go to insert and you choose insert data frame, that's going to add a new square. You see where it says new data frame? That I can just drag into the corner and make it smaller. And then what I'm going to do there is I'm going to make a second map that shows where Georgetown is in Texas. So um, one thing I'm going to do now in my new data frame is that I'm going to add in the state's shapefile from uh, lab 2.1 and from there I can just make a quick selection of Texas and once Texas is selected I could right click here right click the layer data export data and make a shapefile just of the Texas state border so I'm just going to put that on my desktop and I'm going to call it Texas and when it asks me do I want to add I say yes once I get just Texas I can just go ahead and remove the other the other states and just have only the Texas layer if you right click zoom to layer it could be a quick way to get into Texas and you see right now I'm working with with it in an unprojected data frame, you're going to want that to be projected. So go ahead and get into your data frame properties by right clicking the data frame name, go into properties. Here I'm going to go into the uh, coordinate systems. Once in coordinate system, I'm going to choose the appropriate uh, projection for a statewide projection, which is going to be uh, Texas centric mapping. I'm going to go here to state systems and just go to that E3 Texas centric mapping. Yes, and you can see Texas looks better. Um, take off the outline color, make it lighter gray, which is uh, not that bad to do. Okay, and uh, then afterwards I need to show now where it is in Texas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outline of Georgetown ISD, which I already have here, and add it into my data frame. You get these warnings about projections, but that's okay. And then change the color to something bright so it pops out. And you can see it's kind of small actually, maybe too small for it to be readable. So um, what we can do is instead of doing uh, Georgetown ISD is that we can just put a dot where Georgetown ISD is. Um, if we switch over to layout mode, I mean to data frame mode, you can see that Georgetown ISD is just too small to really be showing up. Um, so what we can do here is instead of having this outline width is zero, if you make it into the same color You can just increase the outline width, and that's going to actually make it a bigger dot on Texas. And so, at least from there, you can see okay, that's where it's at. Um, another option that you can do is instead of doing the Georgetown ISD, just go ahead and remove that. Um, so go into data frame mode and then just search for Georgetown. So, if I click on the search, the find binoculars. And this is going to be like what we did in lab number one. And I do locations and I type Georgetown, Texas. I can go ahead and just put a point there at a point. 
which I can always change the color to of it through the drawing toolbar. So I just make it black. I can even change the size of it by uh, double clicking it. And here I can just make the size a little bit bigger. And then now whenever I go back into my layout mode, you can see textual map has the dot there. Maybe that's too big of a dot. Again, change the size by right clicking and going into properties. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And there you go, then you have a contextual map, a small map showing where this is at.